War games in the most literal sense. Heavy metal shreds this rural idyll. Thick fumes pump from powerful engines. The home crowd urges on Russia's tank crews. Perfect, we are supporting our team. Good luck, we are going to win. Twelve nations are competing in this tank championship, but despite being invited, no NATO country has shown up. Blame that on the crisis in Ukraine. Those who wanted to come have come. Obviously, the more countries there are, the stronger the competition. Hitting the targets and getting round the 20-kilometer course is tough. Two of Mongolia's tanks break down. This round, to the delight of many in the stands, is won convincingly by Russia. Armenia a second. The competition tank here is the standard T-72B. It's being used by all of the teams except for the Chinese who've brought their own tank. And if you believe some of the more disgruntled rumours swirling around here, maybe also the Russians who might be using a beefed up version a bit more like this one. Such tittle-tattle is dismissed by the winning crew who say their victory is just down to them being better. The tanks are the same but the drivers have great skills and they show better performance. It's about experience, skills and it shows what Russia can do, that we don't give up. Dozens of countries around the world still use tanks made by the Soviet Union during the Cold War. And with talk of a new Cold War gaining traction, this is a high-octane way for Russia to prove its hardware still competes. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Al Abina, near Moscow.